guys. We're at Winco Foods where I normally get um, all my groceries. I get so many questions about how I go about getting my groceries and what to get and how I kind of structure my meal plans and everything during the week. So I'm going to take you guys kind of behind the scenes a little bit about what I do when I go through the grocery store. I'm usually in and out of like 10 minutes every single time I'm in here. It doesn't take that long, not that complicated. So I'm going to show you a little bit about what I do. Rolls. This place is like, it's nice because it's built almost like Costco, but it's not the big portions. I don't have enough room in my house to get all those big portions, so I usually just go for basic stuff. It's like a regular grocery store, but big. <laughs> a little bit bigger than normal. It's like getting regular chicken breasts. You guys see these? These work perfectly. You get close up on this. No hormones or steroids. Some of the uh, other chicken breasts I've gotten, like the fresh ones that are in the pack, aren't as, they don't, they don't taste as good when you cook them. And they're huge. Right? And you, get, you almost have to cut them in half because they're so thick and big. I'm like, dude, there's no way this chicken was this big. No way. So I usually just go with the, chick, the frozen chicken and I'll just cook it frozen. And it tastes the best. And I mean, I've been using this same chicken for probably the last six years, so I think it's working. One of the easiest ways to get a lot of greens is to go with spinach all the time. So I usually put this in my, my, my shake, which is usually the second meal of the day, and I'll throw it in my eggs, I'll throw it in everything. So you get a ton of greens, a lot of nutrients just for that. I found out that one big container of spinach and then one thing of Popeye spinach is a perfect amount for the amount of meals I have during the week. So usually kind of play with it so all the spinach doesn't go bad, as it doesn't get like soggy and stuff like that at the bottom of the container, no one wants any of that. All right, normally I switch up my carb sources with like rice, usually. Um, most of the last four or five weeks or so I've had rice, but I'm gonna switch it up this week. I'm gonna probably go with the, there's a, a couple different style, uh, styles of yams. You have like the regular like bright orange yams, I kind of, I consider those yams, and then you have like the sweet potatoes, which are usually more white, I want to say. White in color, at least these ones are. When you, when you cut them in, cut them on the inside, it's like a white color. So when you cook them, they actually look like regular potatoes, but they have that natural sweetness to them. So they taste a whole lot better. So I usually switch between these, which technically it's still a yam, between this and then like the bright orange ones that you normally have on like Thanksgiving or something like that. So I'm gonna switch it up this week. And these things are bomb. You put a little bit of like cinnamon on this stuff. Oh, yeah. so good. So good. All right. My favorite part by far, when I'm in the off season and I give myself a little bit of leverage as far as the sugars that I have post-workout. Normally when I'm on season, I'll have um, dextrose, pure dextrose powder in my post-workout shake so I can measure it exactly. Like this is how many grams I'm having post-workout. Off season, I just kind of guesstimate. Like a handful of this, handful of that, whatever. So, what happens is, I get to look through all these things. You can see all this. <laughs> and I'll usually change it up from, uh, from time to time. I stick with gummies usually. Gummy berries are always a perfect, either that or Swedish fish right next to it, loaded with sugar. And of course, I only have this when my body's gonna use it the most, which is post-workout, immediately post-workout. So I tell you what, after a hard workout, you're going for like two hours, whatever it is, when I get in my car and I know I have a container of gummy bears to eat, a ton of them, it's the most exciting thing in the world. So I'm gonna get a freaking big bag of this right now. I kind of have to spill this everywhere because that's what I usually do. Full scoops. Probably go with one more big scoop. I say that's enough and then after I'm done working out, I'm like, no, that's not enough. So my measuring cup is my hand. I'll usually just take a huge handful and dump it in a, in a container of some sort. Secret weapon, gummy bear.